Philippe, we're here on the Heimbuch stand, uh, AMB 2018. Uh, I want you to tell me about this intelligent work holding you've got. What are you showing off here? Yeah, right. It's actually a traditional Heimbuch uh, technique. We have a clamping chuck here, but this one is intelligent. It's measuring different um, values in the process. The first is the clamping force, the actual clamping force at the uh, workpiece. The second one is the workpiece diameter. And the third one is the air contact. Okay, so do you want to talk us through? Do you want to do a demonstration yeah, sure. and show us what happens when yeah. some values are incorrect or when... In, uh... First, we will start with the perfect workpiece. This was as a, a planar uh, contact um, plane. We have the right diameter and I will try to apply the right force. Now the force is um, increasing. We already have detected the, the contact, the planar contact. So essentially this is the amount of force and you're within the green zone and these green lights here are indicating that the part is flat. We have a target force of 55. Now we are a little bit over but that's in, in the inside of the tolerance. We have a completely right contact and we have measured the right diameter. It's also inside of the tolerance. Now let's do the same with a, um, a false part. Okay. With this one, we are simulating a chip, a chip on the on the um, plane. It's not a very big chip, is it? No, it's a small chip, but it's so um, yeah, so uh, nice to detect here. We already detected this small chip. And we have the, the wrong diameter now. So now we are we um, again have the right force, but we have detected a chip. And we have detec detected that we have the wrong diameter here. So now you can either um, put your workpiece away or uh, compensate that do an, uh, yeah, an, another polishing or something like that. It's a brilliant concept. I, I, I love yeah. the idea, but what I'm trying to establish in my own mind is where it fits. How, how many people will be actually be interested in going to this level uh, when they're clamping? Well, that depends on um, which type of value you want to use. For example, the force is brilliant. You, you don't want to have too, uh, too low force because you will lose your uh, workpiece and it will damage your machine. On the other hand, you don't want to have too much force because if you have a, a small part or a, a thin ring, then you don't want to damage that one with too much clamping force. On the other hand, you can use the diameter to detect if your workpiece is wrong. If it's wrong from your supplier or from the previous um, step or whatever. And uh, the third one is the, the contact. You don't want to have a chip in between and probably you don't have air at your machine, at your clamping device. Then you, with this solution you don't need the air because we're doing it electrical.